Hello readers, I'm Amy here today to bring you a book club announcement. So about two months ago, Fariha from Bookworms Paradise, she has her own channel, she's got an Instagram, uh, Twitter, all of that, got a hold of me because I, I guess, was one of the only people she really knew who read books on sexual assault. So if you've been on my channel for a little while, you might remember I did three videos on sexual assault books. One of them I think was books that I read and then books, was it nonfiction books or books that were on my want to read list and Twitter recommendations? I will go ahead and link those up above somewhere if you haven't seen them yet. But yeah, she reached out to me and she wanted to collaborate on a book club where we're going to read books about bodies, about mental health, and particularly about sexual assault. And sexual assault is a topic that people still don't necessarily talk about that much, especially I don't see a ton of sexual assault novels being talked about, which is one of the reasons that I did those three videos on it. So this book club will be starting as of April 1st, and for right now we're going to be doing one book per month. And April's book is going to be The Way I Used to Be. This book was written by Amber Smith. I think I remember having this on my want to read list. I currently have this book on loan as an audiobook from my local library. It's a New York Times bestseller. I don't know that that really means much. It doesn't mean much to me. <laughs> But it says, in the tradition of speak, which is a book I absolutely love that's on sexual assault, it's written in like a diary form, huge favorite, would recommend. It's a fairly easy read. Um, this extraordinary debut novel is a poignant book that realistically looks at the lasting effects of trauma on love, relationships, and life. Eden was always good at being good. Starting high school didn't change who she was. But the night her brother's best friend assaults her, Eden's world capsizes. What was once simple is now complex. What Eden once loved, who she once loved, she now hates. What she thought she knew to be true is now lies. Nothing makes sense anymore, and she knows she's supposed to tell someone what happened, but she can't. She buries it instead. And she buries the way she used to be. Told in four parts, freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year, this provocative debut reveals the deep cuts of trauma, but it also demonstrates one young woman's strength as she navigates the disappointment and unbearable pains of adolescence, of first love and first heartbreak, of friendships broken and rebuilt, all while learning to embrace the power of survival she never knew she had hidden within her heart. I love the idea that this is told in four parts. Um, having the perspective of freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior year, that just really, that speaks to me. I love seeing an event or the effects of an event at different points of a lifetime, having like a bit of a mixed up timeline or the progression of a timeline. Those are books that I really, really like. So I am pretty hopeful for this book. We will be doing a live show. I don't have the date and time for that just yet. Fariha is in Bangladesh and I'm in Montana. Um, usually I get her messages first thing in the morning. So I'm guessing that Montana, like Denver time, it would be about, or I guess mountain time, it would be probably sometime between 6 and 9 a.m. I would think, which will be almost not quite midnight her time, but we will see. I'm not gonna have the date up in time for this video, but I will let you all know when we have that scheduled so you can join the discussion. So yes, welcome. If you'd like to join the book club, just follow along with me. Both of our socials will be linked in the description below. I also set up the Instagram and Twitter accounts for the book club. She has those passwords, so hopefully between the two of us, we can kind of keep it updated, but we'll see how it goes. Please like, subscribe, and be friends for both of us, and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye, friends.